Good morning, Sun Seekers. It is nice to see you this morning as uh, we start another day in uh, in southern Manitoba. And um, I would like to thank you for being here and uh, part of the Tyler Glenn Show, a show that is usually uh, about a lot of fun and food, and fun places, and mayhem, and a lot of laughs, and we are going to make that attempt to get back there uh, as the morning goes on, but we start the day on a somber note because yesterday was a very, very bad day. Yesterday was uh, a day that unfortunately most of us will never forget because it was likely one of the worst disasters in our province's history. And people will start their day likely hearing news that confirms their worst fears that someone that they loved is no longer with them. And as a community, um, we have to rally around these people and, and we have to wrap our arms around the communities of Dauphin and Carberry, two beautiful towns with beautiful people. And um, we will get through this together and we'll lean on each other and we will help each other to get through what is just an absolutely unspeakable horror and tragedy. If you are a normal viewer and listener to this show, you'll know that We've had a lot of fun in showing the Las Vegas Golden Knights raise the Stanley Cup, and we've had a lot of fun in showing the great crowds that that gathered in front of T-Mobile Place and went crazy when they, they won the Cup, or when the Northern Lights shine on, on Manitoba and, and, and people are sharing pictures all over the place. We like to share that stuff. We like to put the pictures and videos onto the show and and share them. And I can tell you that this is the picture of Carberry you're going to see on the show today. And I also have a picture from Dauphin that I'm going to share with you this morning. And that's what you're going to see on the show because I think we've just, we've all seen the pictures and the video and it's just far too much. And it's not going to serve any purpose other than to just, throw it out there and have people go, oh my God, what a tragedy. We know it's a tragedy. We know it's awful. And um, if you've been watching the news channels, you've seen that this has made national and international headlines. I saw it in the New York Times today, and it's uh, making news in all major U.S. cities and, and around the world because it is such a big tragedy. 
And what's important for us right now, again, is just to, to, to circle the wagons and to be there for each other, to lean on each other and help. And what I am interested in is not pictures and information from, well, it could have been this, could have been that. Hey, did you hear this, Tyler? And I do want to say thank you, though, to everybody that reached out yesterday because I was completely overwhelmed with information when this story broke. But now we have to let the officials do their job. We have to let the families notify and grieve and go through that whole process. And what I am interested in, what I would like to know, if you do hear of anything, is how we can help. So if you hear of special events, bake sales, fundraisers, it's kind of the way we do it, right? When we're grieving, we eat. We know these things. And we like to give money. And I'm sure there'll be all kinds of fundraisers and special things. I'd like to hear about those because I would like to share that information. And I think that we all collectively want to make them successful because, again, we want to wrap our arms around these communities of Carberry and Dauphin because that's what we do now. That's our job is to wrap our arms around these towns and and these um, families because they are going through just an unspeakable, unimaginable amount of pain. Isn't that beautiful? That's how Dauphin should be seen, the lens that the national media should be seeing Dauphin, just this beautiful place of culture and friendly folks and, yeah, a lot of senior citizens up there who know how to cook, by the way. They can kick ass. <laughs> they can they can make a mean pierogi and kubusa, you know, right? Am I right? Anyway, yeah. Good morning, Paul. Nice to see you. And we did, we all did see a lot of pictures and video that, you know, was just too much. I, I, I can, I can tell you, I've been on social media since it first started in 2006, 2007, and I have never filed more complaints and reached out to social media companies directly saying, you need to get this down. You need to pull this down. And I mean, I remember when I was in the traditional media business and there used to be such an outcry of, of pictures generally taken in public that, you know, were, I hate to say classier, but they were a little bit more respectful. And now there's just none. Now there's just none. It could, it, and, and, and some of it is just, it gives you nightmares and we weren't even there. We don't need that. What we need is, uh, like I say, we need each other. And I'm, I'm so glad that I've got you this morning to, um, have a conversation with conversation with I hope you're doing okay and again I thank you for being here from the bottom of my heart and let's let's be there for Dauphin and Carberry okay good morning Lindy and Tom and uh, and Trev and Tasha and Sharon and Jody and uh, Tasha it's nice to hear that your daughter got back home that's a thing my son is coming home this weekend and we're all gonna have this Feeling in the pit of our stomach when family members hit the highway now, and that's going to be normal. You know, there is no normal going forward from something like this. This There's a reason that the entire nation has its focus on Manitoba right now, because there's no playbook on how to get through something like this. And that's why just my heart kind of broke again yesterday for Humboldt, because they're the first ones to kind of really step up and say, hey, we know what you're going through. And... You know, it's just a testament to um, the power of the power of of love, really. I guess you know when you're able to lean on each other, even through unspeakable tragedy like that, and uh, to offer their assistance. It's just, it's awesome. And I ha- I also want to say um, because, and this is really really important. I do want to say good morning to a few folks in chat, but this is super important. I complain about a lot of broken things in our country, sometimes on a regular basis. But I cannot tell you how impressed I was. And I 
was not in Carberry yesterday, but I'll tell you, I was locked in the beach bunker all day just having information come at me like a like I was drinking from a fire hose. And so I I like to think that I I didn't have a front row seat, but I was pretty close to everything that was going on. And I can tell you those first responders yesterday, I can't believe how incredible from from EMS to RCMP to emergency crew to the media conference yesterday. Ever it was so amazing. They were so incredible. And then Stars Air Ambulance, not only two helicopters, but I believe there was two fixed-wing aircraft that also came, 14 crew members, and they were fast onto the scene. Absolutely amazing. Really well done. And hats off to the to all first responders in this because they did just a phenomenal, an exemplary display of talent and preparation. True professionalism. Hats off to you. And, again, they're another group that's going to be going through a lot. Good morning, Lindy and Tasha and Uncle Bo and Mama Sunday, Jody and Nick. <clears throat> and Connie. And, um, yeah, that's the Thanks, Misbehaven. Those are the two pictures we're going to see today from Dauphin and Carberry. That's it. Um, oh, on my Facebook profile, I post a message from a business in Dauphin who's selling decals already. Okay. Um, do let me know. Uh, keep me in the loop on things going on. I do appreciate it. And uh, when and where I can, I will share that stuff. And obviously, I'll bring it to the show as well as we go forward because this is going to be something that is likely going to be dominating uh, many of our activities through the summer. There'll be barbecues and bake sales and things like that. And we will make sure that we communicate as much as we can about those happenings that uh, that are going on, okay? Thanks for keeping me in the loop. And again, thoughts and prayers and much love to Dauphin and Carberry. And uh, for us... This morning, we will uh, soldier on, and we will uh, do our grand prize draw for our Dad's Day contest. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we'll, we have our grand prize draw. It's, it's Dad's Day weekend this weekend. It's Father's Day weekend. So uh, we got some Father's Day stuff for you coming up on the show today. We've also got uh, some celebrity dads. Uh, remember how we did for Mother's Day? We'd flash a picture of a of a uh, celebrity mom, and then you had to guess what TV show or movie they were from, and we just had some fun with that. So we'll have some fun with that uh, because, you know, it's all about dads this weekend, which means that butcher shops are going to be, or should be, very, very busy this weekend. Butcher shops and beer stores, butcher shops and beer stores, as we get set for dad and uh, the Dad's Day weekend. So uh, thank you again for all the pictures that you sent in. My gosh, we had so many pictures of dads from across western Manitoba. And uh, thank you so much for sending those in. You know what? Uh, I do have some really exciting news. Um, If we rewind to yesterday's show and we were talking about the Costco hot dog, oh, boy. The news I've got for you, Costco is coming. Now, it's not coming to Brandon. It is coming to, um, it is coming to the west side of Winnipeg. So I think that Costco has kind of hedged their bets a little bit here. They've kind of given a nod down the road to Brandon and Western Manitoba and said, no, we hear you. We hear you. You're over there. You're We, we like you. And the next time we put a Costco in Winnipeg, how about this? Let's, let's split the difference and we'll build it on the west side of town so that you don't even really have to come into Winnipeg to hit the Costco. And that's what they have announced. There will be a Costco to be built on the west side of Winnipeg 
basically at the edge of Headingley. You know where Cinnaboy and Downs is, is? That's where they put the Red River Rex, which I believe opens this weekend. And there is going to be a Costco. So, you know, you can likely get to that Costco faster than probably any store in Winnipeg if you want to do that. And no word on on a, on a launch date, but I've got more information on that coming up in the show. So if you're a Costco fan, you're going to want to uh, join us for that at twitch.tv slash Tyler Glenn Show. Twitch.tv slash Tyler Glenn Show. Uh, also, I want to let you know that coming up this weekend is the Summer Solstice Holistic and Metaphysical event. Can you believe that Wednesday is like the first day of summer? Wednesday is the first day of summer, and so the solstice is coming. And uh, the first day of summer is Wednesday. comes in at 9.57 a.m. local time. I have it written down here. And... Um, They've got the Summer Solstice Holistic and Metaphysical event happening Saturday from 11 till 4 at the North End Community Center. That's at 1212 Stickney Avenue behind Lady of the Lake. It's a gathering for like-minded, energetic beings uh, ready to explore, shop, and exchange ideas. If you're fascinated by crystals, essential oils, tarot cards, and the metaphysical world, then this is the place to be this weekend. Discover a wide selection of mystical treasures, engage with knowledgeable experts, and immerse yourself in a vibrant community of holistic enthusiasts uh, on Saturday. Coming up tomorrow from 11 till 4. Again, that is going to be at the North End Community Center in Brandon. Yes, if you missed the start of the show, uh, we shared just two pictures from Carberry and Dauphin, and today we will likely hear some of the names. You may know somebody who has been affected. Uh, Manitoba is a very small province, and it has always amazed me how long it takes to find somebody that you know. It doesn't take long. My grandfather always used to say, if you can get 20 minutes from somebody, you know the same person. He was he was kind of a sales guy, but there was some truth to that, and I used to see it in action all the time. We would go to some trade show or some fair, and he'd run into somebody and start talking, and, oh, I'm from Carberry. Oh, do you know John Smith? Mm, I've heard the name before. I think he lives up the street from me. Okay, do you know uh, Sue Johansson? It's like, oh, yeah, she's a cousin. Oh, okay, well, you know what? I I married her sister. Oh, really? Oh, wow. You know? And that's how that's how we roll in Manitoba, is that people are generally uh, either related to each other or they are friends of the related to each other. And so... Uh, this is going to be this is going to be a, 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 a ter- this is going to be a tough weekend. This is going to be a tough tough weekend, and we'll just lean on each other and rely on each other for support and uh, and love and and we'll get through this together. Um, the Trans Canada is open. I had a few people message me this morning asking if it uh, had opened again, and it is open. Uh, but I don't think any of us are going to be able to go through that stretch of road. Um, the same way again, it's going to be, um, it's just going to be, uh, one of those, one of those things. And, uh, one step at a time though, one foot in front of the other. And, uh, like I'd said in a post earlier this morning that, um, we will all give each other a little bit of space and room to just kind of, just kind of be what you got to be right now. And that means just doing the best you can one foot in front of the other. Um, that's why I love the game of football. You know, when my son played in real difficult, difficult times, you know, the game of football is a game of inches, they say. And by that, they mean that, you know, in that game of football, you just got to move the ball just a little bit, just move forward a little bit. And they have this saying, and I love it. And it's called, keep your feet moving. And what they mean by that is when you get in a pile, guys, and you're trying to move the football, they teach you, they coach you that even though you don't know, because you could be in a pile of humanity pushing down a football field. And 
you can't even see the sun because you could be kind of midway through that pile. But, but coaches tell you, just keep your feet moving. Pump your feet. Keep moving your feet. Keep pushing. Keep pushing with your feet. And it's a great metaphor because sometimes we don't know what's up and what's down. And, and uh, it's hard to make sense of anything or find our way. And, and you just got to keep your feet moving. And it, even just a little bit, just, just, just a little bit, you just got to keep moving forward. And that's, uh, that's what we're going to do. <sighs> yeah. Oh, thanks for that. Thanks for that. Oh, man, I don't need my... Ch- Thank you for thinking of me about the cherry sticks. Um, you know what? I'll, I'll be honest with you. It, uh, Yeah, I had a couple of cherry sticks last night. Uh, it was one of those things where you can't even... After a day like yesterday, you just can't even... It's hard to kind of just decompress after that, after all that information was coming in, and it's just... Whew. What a day. What a day. And uh, anyway... We will soldier on, and um, I do want to let you know that uh, not only do we have that metaphysical event happening this weekend, but there's a barbecue fundraiser happening uh, over at Alternative Choice Garden Center. Don't forget about that. This is for uh, funds for furry friends. So if you're in the area, we'd love to see you uh, tomorrow from 1130 till 2 over at Alternative Choice Garden Center. And... uh, Everybody loves the furry friends. There's the price list for you as we uh, raise some money for the fur babies uh, tomorrow. And, of course, with Father's Day quickly approaching, they've got all kinds of great Father's Day gift ideas, too. They're a sponsor of the Tyler Glenn Show, which is why I'm mentioning them, and I thank them very much for that. Uh, They've got uh, perfect Father's Day gift ideas, and they've got Father's Day gift baskets, too, that we've been showing you all week long. And they can, whoops, hang on. Uh, they can, you can choose from the pre made selection or they can create them for any budget. And boy, Karen has done just an amazing job of stocking this store. She, she kind of reminds me if my wife had a store and it's like, let's open a store. We're going to sell flowers and shrubs and everything. Okay, wait, wait, wait where's, the, where's the flowers and the shrubs? Well, we're just going to sell a little bit of this too because it's pretty. And we're going to sell this too. And we're going to have this. And we're going to have, oh my gosh, this store has so much stuff in it. And it's not just shrubs and flowers. They've got all kinds of great stuff. So rubs, and this is what I like, the rubs, the sauces, the barbecue utensils. Uh, And again, they can make a gift basket for dad. So go check it out. At Alternative Choice Garden Center, 34th and Patricia, south, far, far, far south end of Brandon, okay? Far, far south end. Oh, look at that. There's a dad sign there for you. So uh, those Napoleon tools are pretty good. That's awesome. Beautiful grill there. Wow. Some dad's going to feel pretty lucky this weekend. So check it out. Alternative Choice Garden Center, again, at 34th and Patricia. Sponsors here at the Tyler Glenn Show, and we thank them. Hey, uh, the backyard on Aberdeen. I'd like to say good morning to Ida. Good morning to Ida. Uh, she is going to be a sponsor on the Tyler Glenn Show. Spoke with her yesterday, so you'll be, I think you can see uh, some stuff on the web already. And uh, we look forward to welcoming uh, the backyard on Aberdeen and Ida's catering to the Tyler Glenn Show. That'll be happening next week. So we look forward to that. And uh, those rubs are there directions on them? Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea because you don't want to be you don't want to be rubbing without directions, do you? <laughs> Coming up on the show, we've got our grand prize draw uh, for our Father's Day contest. Uh, so we'll be doing that after seven thirty, and we'll show you some of the great pictures that have come in if you haven't seen them on Facebook already. So, and we'll see if we can get a hold of our winner today. That'd be great. And uh, thank you to Murray's for the great Father's Day prize that we have. We have to say goodbye to our social media friends coming up in the next few minutes. And uh, we're going to move everything over to twitch.tv slash Tyler Glenn Show. We would love to have you join us over there. I certainly understand if you can't. You have. We all have a lot going on this weekend. The circumstances are completely understandable. Um, and the fact that you're able to join us even for just a few minutes uh, to hang out and have coffee, that's great. We'll continue to do that 
uh, right up until 9 o'clock this morning. So we're at twitch.tv slash Tyler Glenn Show if you want to hop on over. And you don't even have to join up. You don't have to follow. Maybe you just want to, it's just an opportunity for you to find us and then hang out with us for for the next 90 minutes or so. Uh, again, twitch.tv slash Tyler Glenn Show. We will attempt to get to the um, happiest tourist attractions in the world. In case you're ever thinking of going on like a big trip and you want to go someplace happy. Oh, doesn't that sound great? 16 last minute Father's Day gifts that should arrive by Sunday. False. They're not going to arrive by Sunday, but they're really cool. And we'll check them out. The eight most outrageously expensive hot dogs in North America. Not only did we find good hot dogs, we found the most expensive ones. We'll share them with you. Um, also, you know how you can buy uh, testicles for your truck? Oh, somebody who's just joining us for the first time is going, "What? That he's talking about what? You know how the the balls for your truck? We see them. On, you see them around Western Manitoba. Guys put testicles on their truck. You can get them for your sandals now. Yeah, for your sandals. Oh, I'll show you. It's coming up. Twitch.tv slash Tyler Glenn Show. We're going to play Dad's Day games too with you in Twitch with you, Uncle Bo and Lindy and Paul." And Linda and Cody and Sharon and Teresa Lee Gradinsky. Good morning. It's nice to see you this morning. So come on over. Twitch.tv slash Tyler Glenn Show. That's where we're going to be. And um, in the meantime, we will say farewell to our TikTok friends. And we wish uh, dads a happy Father's Day. Have a good weekend. Um I hope that you have uh, uh, the best weekend possible. And uh, I hope to see you again Monday morning at 7 o'clock on another edition of the Tyler Glenn Show. Happy Dad's Day, dads. Okay, that is our TikTok sign-off. And then uh, we'll sign off of the rest of social media, including our Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and all that, because we're moving it all over to Twitch. Come on over, twitch.tv slash Tyler Glenn Show. And I'll say it again, a happy Father's Day weekend. Stay strong. So much love to Dauphin and Carberry and to our first responders. Just amazing, amazing people. Let's continue to be amazing. And let's continue to wrap our arms around our, our Manitoba communities and and have the have the best weekend you can, okay? And we'll-